Patches out, folks. Unfortunately, this is within the purview of a patch, meaning that we're getting a lighter touch than it sounded last week for Psyker and Ogren buffs. But we did get some really nice quality of life boosts to make up for it, so let's dive in. First off for our buffs, Psyker's Warp Unleashed has been bumped up to 10 to 25% extra damage for force weapons, which is a nice tweak to make the force staff a little bit more pickable. Rack and Ruin now has a larger radius of 4 meters and applies 3 stacks of blaze rather than 2, which is always nice to see these feats bumped up for Pergata Soul Blaze builds. Ogren is next and they are receiving a buff to payback time, no longer locking them to an enemy type when the effect procs, which is way better now. I do feel like it's not competing still with knock them down, beat them up, but I mean it's definitely an improvement for this feat. We are also having their lead the charge feat buffed to grant stun and suppression immunities. Honestly, this could be a really cute line breaker feat if you're not really concerned with the bull rush cooldowns, being able to buff your entire team and kind of encourage them to run forward and not to be too afraid. Creatures Until Death is getting a fix once again so that it doesn't accidentally proc prior to dying, which is always nice since I routinely use it to heal myself and it is panic inducing to have it proc before you're ready because a gunner looked at you funny. We also did get a few weapon buffs. The Loren's Kickback's Expansive Blessing is now being expanded now to affect not just your bayonet but your melee weapon as well. It's being nerfed slightly on its values so that way it doesn't come out the gate too strong, but this is a good way to focus on close combat for your Ogren, and essentially adds a third blessing to your melee weapon at a sacrifice for your ranged weapon. Onto our quality life improvements. Emperor's Gifts on Heresy and Damnation are now locked to blue and up for rarity. This is going to make Heresy wonderful for grinding blessings with Hadron. Level 30 players will no longer know a weapon sub 300 as the Armory Exchange, Sour Milk Shop, and Emperor's Gift only dispense 300 and up now, so that's also quite good for trying to make your builds. We also do have a lowered Plasteel requirement to get to Transcendent, now capping itself at 700. They also confirmed on text that hey, the max base stat for weapons is indeed 380, so it's nice to know this info. Finally, our nicest upgrade is that we now have notifications on when allies pick up Plasteel and Diamantine throughout a mission. More so, holding tab and bringing up the mission's overlay will actually display the active counts for each material as you harvest them. I'm hoping this ends up encouraging our little speedrunner friends with how many pickups they are actively missing by holding shift the entire match. Well that wraps up this update folks, if you liked the video, drop a like, if I missed anything leave a comment, and have a wonderful day, see ya.